Because yeah. back in the day, when I was going, the whole reason I was in the club was to get a girl number. Yeah. That's the whole reason. That's the whole reason. Whole Any other reason is I'm going up with a bunch of, bunch of niggas. I don't care for these niggas. I'm just here for the girls. That's it. Yeah. Now I'm like, I get to my bed. It's like 40 cars outside my house. I'm trying to say, like, nah. Everybody, like, yeah, let's keep the party going. I remember this. <laughs> I'm like, he ain't let me in. We, that's our job on my perspective. We gotta figure out ways for niggas to get out of drug game. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta, we got we gotta come up with strategies so they can get it connected the, with something. The problem man, right now, you like, nah, son, I don't really want no beef with him. Woo. The new ones? Yeah. Oh, none of these. That's so the only one I feel like is probably good, man. What's going on? Hey, we back. This is my perspective. And we got a new guest, my yeah. man Cools. Cools. What's up, what's up? What's going on, Cools? Not much. Good to see you, man. Glad you came to join us today. What's up, Cools? Tell us about what you do, man. Pretty much, man. I'm on promo wave. Okay. Got a lot of promo out of the city, different clubs in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I'm on the international scene, so I say I do reggae, the African-American scene. Which is more like Afro beat and stuff like that. I mean, and also American scene. Okay. How did you get started? I got started a long time ago. Actually, I watched you back in the day. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you know what I mean, back in the day, back in Covington when they was doing the parties. Then I had um, linked up with my man's El Boogie. Uh -huh. And then from El Boogie, one day, one time, we was doing some promo and it went from like doing free promo, passing out flyers and stuff to. Yeah. Oh, he actually put some money in my hands. It was like, this could actually make money. Yeah. I mean, it was like a little $20, $40, whatever. But that was just one night. A lot of people work a few hours to get to that. And they still get taxed on their check. Yeah, so I was just like, hey, I go a little harder. It might be 200 at the end of the week. Might be 300 Might be 500 And yeah. from there. So so do you have to put any of your own money up? Or like, is you just a part of a team? At this point, know? yeah. You gotta put some money up. You gotta um, actually invest in yourself as right. far as printing out flyers. Um, I done learned how to use Photoshop and stuff like that. How to buy a computer. I mean, put so, gas in the car to get to the next spot. So, do you rent the club? Uh, like, how does it work? Like, do you I do. It's both. So, if I go to a certain club, I gotta um, give them like a proposal. And the proposal is basically saying if they want to give me the spot for a percentage of what I could bring in, or I could just pay them out. So some spots I probably gotta give them a thousand to two thousand and they just hold that as far as they accept that for the whole night or they still might want some of what I make. So do they so do you have any like exclusive uh like a fee at the door? Do you get the door? Like like Yeah, some spots I get a hundred percent of the door uh -huh. and then a kickback from the bar or some spots they want they'll give me a kickback from the bar, also they want like half the door. All the time, some clubs, they'll cheat you, um, they'll just give you a fee, period. Like, they'll just pay me 500 for the night just to bring clientele through the door. But if you if you get the door, I'm imagining, like, you got to get them what they going to make that night without, if they, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then, uh, if you if you don't hit their quota. You just can't go up there like, yeah. here's a thousand dollars. You'll be surprised how clubs really run. It's, really, it's a lot of janky yeah, stuff that Logistics go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a number game at the end of the day. It's yeah. like... I remember when I was throwing parties, I ain't never made no money. That's why I slept. But when I was doing it, I was young. Like he said, like, so when I was doing it, it was more just to be popping. And a lot of people do promo just to be popping. They don't even think about the bread. See, he looked on and said, I can make money out of it and kept going. So he's been doing this for a while. And he also, you also do a, um, you make Snapchat, Snapchat, Snapchat filters. Snapchat like, filters, backdrops. I edit videos. Ain't that except on the computer and do it graphically. So see, he took the party thing and just made a whole circle around it. That's what's up. So that's a little, that's a little smart investment in yourself. So tell me how you started doing Snapchat filters. It was funny because I sat there one day and I was watching like in the party. And you'll see a group of girls that be on the couch. The bottle comes. First thing they do is they all on Snapchat. They all like this, all like this. Yeah. So I started thinking like the filter for a party. Sometimes you'll see one, sometimes you don't. But that's like a good promo. I was like, I made myself a Snapchat filter so when they at my party, they could do like that. They could send me the videos I use as a promo. Yeah. So I started realizing some people was like, oh, how you do that? I could make you one. Give them a fee. They pay me, I give them one now. Girls want it for their birthdays. 
They want it for their baby shower. They want it for their graduation. They want it for their mother's birthday, and just and went from there. That's that's a real good. That was good a good look. idea. Yeah. I don't do people. Are you like the uh, the the groundbreaker for that? Because I ain't never heard nobody just make Snapchat filters. Nah, I heard. I well, I went by. I heard one girl had a smile up Dell Dell filter, but the price I heard was like sixty, seventy, or something like that. I was just like. I could do that, yeah. and I could be less than that, and yeah. still make money off of it. Right. Yeah. Man, so how many people are like, when you do the filters, how do you keep the ideas going? Do they come to you with an idea of what they want to look like, or so, do you just freestyle? It's part and part. Some people come to me with nothing. It's like I have a birthday. It's about pineapples. I'm trying to get a filter. And it's like, all right, I don't even know how old you're turning. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know your name. So it's like, I give them like a little print, like a little, like a pre thing so that they can read it and be like, okay, you got what color theme you want, how old you turning, what's the theme. So it can help me create something or at least come with something that you've seen already and you just want me to mimic it, yeah. which is even faster. That's lit, man. You need to teach me. <laughs> I need to get some money in my pockets, man. Yo, so so tell me how the club scene is now. Like what, like what goes on in these, in these clubs? Cause what goes on in the club? He yeah, gets no I, action. So I don't go to the club. I ain't the club <laughs> I'm, I'm just different. I don't go to the club. Man. There's a lot going on in the club. I seen some wild things. Yep. Some wild. I'm saying things. like, what's the difference between now and how it was in '07? Mm. Well, I guess the way people start in the club is definitely different. Cause people actually party. Remember the days where you actually seen like uh, Grey Goose or one of them type of bottles go through there. Now it's like just Henny and Ciroc, and it's certain people don't want to drink nothing else. Yeah. Like the vibe that people have, where actually want to party. Girls came out to party. Now it's like yeah. they come out to make sure right. they look good on camera. My question to that is, do you think it's an age thing? So do you think the people who just just starting the club is is cool with the not stunning or is it everybody trying to stun? Everybody trying to stun. Nobody can look lame no more. Huh? Nobody can look lame. Some people don't care, but can you pick up a girl at the club nowadays? You can. I've seen it. But are you scooping off the fact that you cool, or is it back in the day like? You scooping on the fact that you got game. So what's one? Do you need to be? Cause yeah. back in the day when I was going, the whole reason I was in the club was to get a girl number. Yeah, that's the whole. Facts. It's the whole reason. There's no. Any other, other reason is I'm with a bunch of bunch of niggas. I don't care for these. Like I'm just, I'm just here for the girls. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Now I feel like I mean I don't know because I ain't in the scene, but I don't know. I'm gonna stand in line for an hour, pay twenty dollars, pay twelve dollars for a drink, and then don't get a number. Pointless, right? Yeah, a lot of girls watch that though. A lot of girls, honestly, they will see you from outside. This ain't like they got in the club before you. They seen you was outside. They probably seen that you had a little altercation with them. Like it was twenty dollars. You telling them, ah, twenty dollars is too much. They they peep all that. By the time you in the club, you think yeah, you're approaching her. She already know <laughs> you broke. <laughs> you know what I mean? Your whole lifestyle. She see that you drinking a beer instead of a, a actual Yo, drink. That is crazy, right? So your preference in the club. Can't be nothing cheap. So like, let's say you just like to drink beer. You got a Corona. Show you gonna look, look at this. Look at this bum drinking a Corona. Like why? Like why is it? Maybe I don't like Hennessy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but it's crazy because I realized like I went to the club a while ago. And I was walking through the club. I ain't have a section, and I realized like my mind. I've been brainwashed. Like I can't enjoy because one, it's so many people bumping in you. You feel like. The section is where you need to be because you you comfortable. It gives you closure. Yeah, and you cool. It's like you can have your time in the section, do your yeah. thing. But at the same time, I be thinking, yo, what, what am I am I paying to have my homies in my own living room? That's just, what, what that's what the section is. Well, what we basically did we created the little mini party within the party is what the section is. Mm. So it helps you just enjoy yeah. the actual people you came with. True. Without having to have to bump into other people well, or you know type of stuff. When you go to the club, are you supposed to enjoy the people you came with or are you supposed to meet new people? It depends. It depends it's on your, your, your goal when yeah. you're walking through that door. I go to the club, I'm trying to go with the people. Trying to mingle. Yeah. No, I ain't mingling. No, I'm not mingling. now. I'm talking about back in the day. Oh, back then, yeah. yeah. But now, the I always say the day party, I went to. Uh -huh. I was with my people. You know what I'm saying? They was cool over there, but hey, I'm with my... Yeah. 
Hey, what you had? You had the shorts that went above your knee. Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had the, the dad shorts on. I had the skips. Had nice little. What's oh, that skips? Yeah, I had my skippers on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm saying like, okay. So with the club, so do you think like girls are only chasing after? Is it more of a what do they? What do you think girls are really? You think they're interested in the dude, or they just interested in what he got going on? It's it's hard to say now, only because I'm not gonna lie. With Atlanta, a lot of these girls make more money than the fellas, so they come through the door, and it's, you can't even stunt. Some of them can't stunt a certain way because the girl who's really making money, know you just start. Yeah. I mean, if you wanna offer them a drink, they'll reply back to you. I just bought my own. Mm. Feel me? And then what you say? If you ain't got nothing to say oh. after that, that's when they know they don't need to have a conversation. Well, then take another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you got two. Right. <laughs> so if you ain't got no real answer at that point, they already know you're disqualified and able. Niggas don't be prepared for that, man. Yeah. Uh, independent? Yeah. I'm yeah. saying it's different now. Yeah. It's different. We had a different age bracket, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you're 21, everybody was broke. <laughs> hey, that was house parties. Like, these are house parties. Yeah, you poured a girl a drink. You weren't even buying a drink. Drink came from somewhere. And he was giving it to her. Uh, I don't know what's in it, but. It was punch punch from the kitchen. Yeah. He giving it to her. It's a different game now. Now you gotta give a drink to have a conversation. And drink's like $12, $14 some places. Yeah, you're paying $14 for to talk. And on top of that, you gotta have your own. You can't do a drink. Yeah, because then you look crazy. Right? Yeah, you just keep yeah, drinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get her a drink. She's like, hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. He be like, yo. <laughs> nah, I was just like, yo, you know, it's my perspective. So. <laughs> that is, but this is interesting because when it comes to parties and clubs, do we do house parties anymore? No, but yes. The house parties is not houses no more. People throw like Man's barbecues, or, oh yeah, man, kick parties, kickbacks, pool parties. Yeah, like yeah. those a house party when you in high school. Yo, so was we young just violating our parents' cribs? Yes. And are we not doing that no more? No. <laughs> at the <laughs> time, but people mothers at this time, I just probably don't have the energy to yell at us. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they'll come in and like, you know what? Just passing the bottle at this point. <laughs> My mom didn't trip, man. We had house parties all the time. She would walk in and just start dancing too. But just... how many people was you having? A lot of people, man. I was talking to my mom the other night, and we sat down and we counted how many people lived with us throughout the years. Mm-hmm. Like Thirty, man. It's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, I was a party, so it was just we was we was just it was just. Dope. I will never forget. You know how you no. Know, Mama, I'm sorry. This is this is a truthful moment. Please mention. One day, we had a party. We threw a party, and I want to say it was jumping. It was like an amazing events or something. It's popping, popping like. And I remember like somebody said out of the blue, "Yo, party at Trade Crib, right?" You know, you think whatever. I Everybody get, pulled up. I get to my crib. It's like forty cars outside my house. Oh, snap. I'm trying to say oh. like, nah. Everybody, like, nah, let's keep the party going. I remember this. <laughs> I'm like, he ain't let me in. <laughs> I'm like, yo, chip. Bro, I open my door. Everybody bum rushing my crib. I'm walking around. It's girls everywhere sitting on. Mind you, this is like a little bit at high school, so girls still got beef with other girls. Oh, I hear man. chatting in the corner. Yeah, I'm gonna catch it when we go outside. I'm like, yo, my mom is gonna kill me. I'm like, yo, don't touch nothing. I just start freaking out. And I just remember, like, somehow, some way. Everybody started leaving. I think I said something. My mom's gonna come. She's gonna shoot everybody. I gotta get out of my house, man. I caught it at the end when he was trying to clear people out. And I'm looking at it. I'm like, I still see a lot of cars. He's like, nah, man, the party's really over. I'm, I'm trying like, to get everybody I'm in my head like, damn, Trey, we like that now. <laughs> what she would have said? My mom? Mm. Oh, God. Anybody who knows my mom knows she plays no games. Oh, That's a fact. She would have came in the. Because one. It was so, it was like ridiculous. I'm talking about, it was so many people in my, it was like a party. Like, everybody from the party came to my house. Man, it was after party. Yeah, so everybody's there. And mind you, this is back in the day where, like, people was packing up their cars. So you got, like, six people in the car sitting on laps and everything, pulling up to my crib. My driveway's packed out. Eggs, cars everywhere. People hanging outside. My mom would have came home and killed me. She was like, oh. Then, 
you got to think, you know, you don't, you can't watch everybody. So what if somebody was stole from my crib or stole something important to us? I was broke. I wouldn't been able to afford to replace it. So I was like, actually, had that happened before. <laughs> See? I'm trying to explain to your parents and like, you give it back. And you like, they look at you like, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> like, I pay you. You got to try. You got to try. Like, Ma, you know, hey. I'll get you another one. It's me. <laughs> it's me talking. But, yeah, man. Hey. So how was your house parties? They was, you know, it was mostly girls and a couple dudes, but it's not even too loud, bro. Yeah, yeah, it was it was wild. You ever I, went to the warehouse? Yeah, I've been there once. Remember that? I actually didn't go to that. Oh man. Uh, I missed a lot of parties before I started throwing parties. It's the craziest part. For real? Yeah. I think the yeah. best. Now the best party times was the simple parties, like greenhouse. Now those was jumping. We had like to that one night. Yeah, yeah. So we had the spot. I don't remember how we acquired the spot, but we got the spot. It was like a house on Sigma Road. And it was literally a greenhouse. Sale. Yeah, it was on sale. This, yeah, I'm fact, 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 fact. I'm tr- what's that? What's the joke we had on Sigmund? Sigmund was the, f- um, it was a truck stop. Uh, it's like a truck yard, what they called it. Where they yeah. Dispatchers be inside, and they had a big yard with a little building that had an empty space. Two parties in the wet spot. So, the greenhouse, right? <laughs> Sam Road. It was cool. It was literally a greenhouse. It used to be packed with the reggae parties in there. But what mess, it was, it was getting to the point where we could have branched that off and did something bigger. I did start doing clubs after that, but when I was doing that, I went to New York, 4th of July, right? I'm like, okay, cool, party going, whatever. I get the phone call. Two Jamaican dudes and guys were arguing over a chair. So. Over a chair? A chair. If anybody knows, you know what I'm about to say this because I don't have a whole community mad. Some people are just angry, okay? Mm? <laughs> so they just start shooting at each other in the middle of the party over a chair. You was there? Was there? So he can tell you more inside the house. Inside, so the house is basically if you just look like downstairs at your house, same setup. It's just minus out some steps because it wasn't no upstairs part. Yeah. So take out the steps and everything. The kitchen area was the bar and everything, and then to the left of that was like a little. To the right actually was the DJ. So I'm, I was walking towards the back to where, where you like your TV area is at. So yeah. like, that would have been like the the bathroom. I'm going towards there. I stopped. My girl gonna look crazy. I stopped. I was about to get a dance with a girl, <laughs> and I stopped right there, about to go dance with her. Then my man's tagging, say, "Yo, that's the time I'm smoking. It. Come smoke the spliff." So I told her, "Hold on, I'll be right back." I made the left now to go out to this other door, but to the right of me. As soon as I turned, I just heard it start going off. I just bad shots start ringing yeah, off, and then I just start seeing everybody flood. I didn't know it was popping like that in Kanye's man. Yo, I be real. It's a whole nother world. People do. Everybody, you people gotta realize. You know how you think of like some states, and you be like nothing goes on there, and then out of nowhere, some person comes from there and tells their story, and it be like, yo, it was like that over there. Yeah, I think about the news that don't make it to the news. Yeah, because that type of stuff didn't make it. Like when it made it to the news, it sounded stupid. <laughs> like I seen the newspaper. It's the they literally wrote um, a Jamaican man with pointing shoes shot two people that was like the, the news story the next day. so nobody gets the whole just of the story it's just kind of like you know in georgia everybody got a gun so i mean it's nothing to hear about somebody getting so the news every day yeah. promotes it so but coming to the congress was different back in the day man that one night like six people got shot yeah outside of the actual two people that had something going on people took the time for their own beefs yeah a lot of them yeah, yeah. So, like, okay, you're at the club. Is it anything like power? You know no. what I'm saying? I mean, you no. got your we'll suit on, club. and you like, you know, hey, <laughs> go get them a bottle. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Them and then, clubs. So it ain't no, ain't nothing, ain't, ain't nothing like that. Even, even, like, when I see, like, ce- celebrities come in and stuff like that, it's never, like, when the celebrities are all decked out in the suit at the same time. You got the congressman that walked in. It's not going down. Not like that. Not the parties I've been to. <laughs> you know what I mean? But they do have what they call um, private parties, private clubs, where they are places where I'm pretty sure they're not decked out in suits. They are comfortable. Yo, don't ghosts make you want to wear a suit, man? 
He do. Yeah, he's like, yo, I gotta think of a place I can wear a suit to. People that wear suits throughout the party, I just don't know how to do it. That's like the OD reggae scene, though, with the suits on and everything. I understand. Shout out to my African people. They, they, oh, they yeah. love to come out in a yeah. full blown suit, daishiki suit. I don't see how they don't be in the club dressed in sweaty hat. They do. They be in there. But they got so many of them. Because there's a lot of them, like, my one man, he wears suits every week. You think about it, though, that's what women like. They do, but I'm like I'm in the club though. Yeah. I understand if I was wearing the work. You gotta wear a hood attire to the club. You could be, you know what I'm saying? Clean. Yeah, you could be clean, but a suit. A suit. We talking three about a jacket, three, 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 Let's talk about Snowfall. Oh, there we go. That's, that's the show right there. That's the show. That's, that's the my, show that's right my right. shit, man. Do you feel like he's stupid? Nah, he's very I, Okay, let me tell you why I think he's stupid. No, no, no. He's not stupid, but I think the wrong move was uh, letting his uncle meet the connect. I the uncle let wouldn't him. stop, though. He I, know for a fact that he low-key kind of needed his uncle. For what though? He needed his uncle because he couldn't be at the crib no more, so he had to go crash on there. You ain't got to know the connect. But his you got to know the connect. Rock. He wasn't gonna let him rock. Because well, he still can't. I don't want to feel like a, a little nigga. To, you, see, to the you, little see, you see how he acting? He act, he he asked the too many questions. Can we get a discount? What the fuck? I just met you, man. He asked me. No Remember the uncle? The uncle you. thought that he was teaching him. Yeah. You feel me? Trying to show him the ropes. So really and truly, this the big homie now. He makes sure the uncle eats. One dude need to do all the talking. What's the point of everybody going to? I, I would. That's the only part I have a problem with. Everything else, I don't think he. He talking about uh, Franklin? Do I think he's stupid? Yeah. Nah, I don't think. Suck, so. my name's Franklin. <laughs> right. He telling anybody his full name. Well, he too. don't have no. The, the nicknames wasn't like. Yeah. Something to really think about them time frames. Yeah. Like, yeah. with the times. And, but you know, I'm not even mad about him always saying. I'm just saying, you know, I'm going to say he's not pussy. Cause he pull up anywhere. Mm. Yo, go meet them essays on. He pulling up, mom. You buy your car. Yeah, he's, <laughs> his, 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 the chances that he take her off. He the take cra- Yo, even when he did the crap, he took short. He took shorty like, yo, where you get that from? He went over there, threw them the two kilo. Yo, my mom, I was like, yo, he about. Why would you? I'm like, yo, you always putting yourself in these yeah. situations. Yeah, that's the time where you can say he's stupid. Yeah. yeah. When he got robbed on his bike and all that. I was like, damn. No, yo, when they came, yo, he, yo, I, I was thinking. So, was like, damn, so bro. look. Pete Game though, I was sitting there like, okay, you in the club, where your sense is at? You in the club, you see everybody looking at you, like, you know, nobody really knows you, so why is everybody looking at you? Everybody looking back at you as they talking, okay, cool. So you get your money, you get on your bike. When you get on your bike, dude, like, yo, you by yourself, you look around, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what would make you do that? Why he didn't say nah? Honestly, you know the answer would have it would have stopped him. If I would by yourself or not. Nah, but think about it. Why he had a hammer? He had a gun at the time. He didn't know, but he didn't think I got thirty thousand dollars in my bag. I well, he could only take but so much. Home girl offered him the gun. gun. Home girl offered him the gun. Remember, and he was like, "Nah." Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he was he was like, like, nah, he didn't know he was. You know, I don't think it was about the charges. I just think he well, was wasn't charged. He wasn't thinking like that. That's yeah. not he was. I don't think he thought about it like how this I'm picture here. is with the money and the drugs together. I mean, the money and the gun together. <laughs> he didn't think that like he had to it do goes all hand that. Hand. Yeah, like I could do this without doing that. Even when he pulled up to the Mexican joint or wherever he was at, and they was just like. Who are you? <laughs> he was like, I don't want no trouble. I don't want no trouble. And just busted the window and pulled them out. If it wasn't for the wrestling dude, it would have been over. It would have been over, man. It's about That's to break him in the crib and train the day, him, yo. That's a fact. Hey, that was the ill training day moment. Like, was, I, I, was, I know it. I, I know. I know. So it would have been a wrap. So I'm just like, yo, I don't know. You think you think you could do it? Do what he did? Yeah. I think I can do it. Do I want to do it? Nah. <laughs> nah, I'm good, man. It's too much risk. It's, not... it's the risk we know now. At them times... In 2018, knowing what I know, nah, I couldn't do it. But, but if I was time... to grow up in that environment, with it, like he felt like he had no choice. Not he even. didn't see no way out. He didn't really grow up in that environment because he, he, he got it as a new drug. Yeah, it was new. But so cocaine, it was a new situation. Was, cocaine was... You know, it was it was big. But Cole it was, was there, but that was that white people drug. Mm-hmm. It didn't make everybody... Yeah, they had that money. Right. They was just doing shine. 
shit. They yeah, wasn't doing free bake shit. Yeah, yeah, it, was, it wasn't doing. So he, they didn't have crackheads when he was growing mm-hmm. up. Right. So he helped make crackheads. Man, man, they had sherm heads. So I it think I said, no. you know what though? I would have did that. I would have did the same thing, man. If it would have happened in our era, yeah. and I would have been afforded that opportunity, I probably would have did the same so thing. So what if what if they had a 2018 scam movement with that? What's the difference? 2018 See, scam. See, when you talking about scams, so you like, talking about stealing. Crack people. was the 80s. 2018 is scamming. So what what makes a difference? Well, yeah. Sammy, you know every like we know how charges add up now. <laughs> <laughs> we know how that plays out now. To me, scamming is whack, bro. I think you whack if you scam. I think you lame as hell. Elaborate on that though. Why? Because like yo, you just you take it from people. You take them like if, like if you scamming somebody debit card, I'm like yo, there's no effort. It's like innocent no, people. Yeah, like that's somebody mom. I rather you sell drugs than scam. So you put in the same category as robbing. Yeah, you pussy. Kicking door, same thing. Yes. What? I don't agree with that. Robbing, it's my robbing, problem. scamming. Unless you robbing for like on some payback type shit, but like if you, if you just doing shit out of spite. Nah. What if you got a corporation you, card? What if you like scam that? Like you got that's lame. Like Kroger's. It's not yours. Card. That's lame. That's lame. So selling crack is better. It is. Listen, it sounds crazy. But I always say, after you see what crack is, at least you can say all the little crack but at least the, the money, the money goes back. What would you rather your child? They, do? they you had to do bro, part of the update. They print money. I understand. What am I scared? I, I'm scared but, of you from what you're you know, you know we all have mom, insured money. But this mom, but this mom, just yeah. imagine. Like the target scam that went on. My sister was a part of that, right? Mm-hmm. She had some money taken out of her account. Like just ra- randomly, wasn't able to get it back. Oh, she never but got she it back. worked hard for you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, yeah, but she never had to get it back to understand that. Yeah. But it's when like, it comes off your debit card, no, you know, last time you can't get that money back. I mean now that it's coming. I have an accident, but, but like, you have to you have to prove that you did. There's no honor, I told you, there's no honor in the scam game. It's honor, it's some honor, and there's some rules to the drug game. There's no they both they, way. They, they do say way. that though in their slogan. Um, there's no honor among thieves. Is there a drug game now, though? There's no drug game. There has to be. There is. We we there's still know. cartels running. Is, 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 well, is, okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, people <laughs> still doing coke, Molly's pills. But is it like, like, is it like, is there a big Is it power? Is it Tommy walking up yeah. down? Uh, uh, it, they really are. They yeah. really are. They're just a lot lower now than yeah, we see I think I think it's not publicized as much. It's not. We don't really hit. But we still hear on the news, truck gets pulled over. Yeah. Thirty thousand pounds of marijuana seeds. But that it was like yeah. sixteen Asians. Yeah. <laughs> I got locked up for twenty five thousand pounds sure. or twenty five hundred yeah. pounds. So it's still going on, but it's, they just doing it on a large. Now it's time to do it on a large scale. The corner boys being on the corners whack because now it's like you just look, you look like it, it's not the same. The, the, the large scale, like, they paying for it now, like yeah, because you know Cali let you sell weed. Yeah, as long as you pay the right person and. Now niggas is scamming, getting their money up, and buying real shit. Well, back to what I was saying, too. All right. Would you rather your son sell crack scam. or scam? Scam. Crack. Scam is the last charge. Do you see Franklin's life? Do you see where his uncle, you know, you know it's crazy? First of all, money is the root of all It's safer. Things. You're right. <laughs> and it's safe. I'd rather my son do five years. Like blue collar crime, yeah. white collar crime, whatever the little... Yo, crack, crack is crack that's a bad question. I don't want my son to do it. <laughs> <laughs> really either, but it would have to be scamming if he's going to be out there. I'd rather him scam because he's in the crib. But honestly, every scam that gets locked up, but then again, all he does is get locked up. I know he's not getting shot over at scamming. Least, at least if he sell crack, he can gain respect. From? And from who? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the crack <answer. laughs> Yeah, you never know. You might meet some people in there. Who, you know, you might get well, scamming. Poppy, scamming gets you the like, I got you when you get that. When you scam, you just a regular old nerd. You got caught, and now you in the pen with some, some drug dealers. Scamming. <laughs> scamming is good. good they're life. both. They're both. They both suck. They both suck. Yeah, I mean, it's no. Positive. If I had to do one, I'm not scamming. It's no. It's no positive scamming. ending for both. Yeah. But if I'm a, if I'm a, first of all, selling crack, we gotta look over here. They both had positive endings for certain people. <laughs> yeah. It's people who've made it. Most people who scam major corporate, you know, every, you know, honestly, 
who had who's had a positive ending for scamming for anything? Don't say the name. For for drugs, I didn't say the name. I've seen, I've seen. Um, I'm gonna lie. Club get built off of um drugs. But did they do any time in jail? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is, is it always? I mean, like you know, I think what it is is they just didn't cut it off in time. Yeah. You know, after like the new what was supposed to be the legal money yeah. came in. Yeah. Nobody stopped. Like, well, look, it's look it's the power. It was the same way. Like he didn't cut it off in time. Yeah. What? When would you have cut it off, man? Like, if you buying a oh. kilo for twelve thousand dollars and you cutting that shit up and you able to make, like you said, a hundred grand off of every key, you do you you do you do ten keys. Well, what do you mean? it's gonna take time to cut it off. As we see, like it's a it's a domino effect. If I stop, whoever I was getting it from is like, hold on, you was making me a lot of money. What you mean? You just want to stop? So from there. That's where it you gotta from. get it connect away then. But that's why I see you give it to somebody it to that your, fuck it up. They gonna be mad at you. That ain't my problem. No, it is your problem. I'm going to Jamaica. It is a lot of time you I'm see gone. on the show, they don't want you to give it up to somebody. Yeah. Else. It's like I don't know him. I know he's you trust. You, but you, you know, it's like I it's know. like I've hired you for forever. <laughs> you know what I'm talking? Yeah. Listen, we, that's our job on my perspective. We gotta figure out ways for niggas to get out of drug game. <laughs> 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 we got we got come up with strategies so they can get it connected away or something. The problem is well, you know what we gotta do. We gotta okay. So whoever they connect is, mm-hmm. we gotta make sure they straight. Like hey, you ain't gotta do this no more. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, whoever they connect is, I don't think they ain't gonna think of another option. Because because you know because then they connect on me. Because who? Yo, is, but my question is this: the Is it a forever? Is it a forever line that connects? Nah, nah. And <laughs> we all see all um, Narcos, Pablo yeah, Escobar. He yeah. was the connect. Yeah. Oh, cause you know what? He was the man. He was the yeah, first line connect. But how many connects come after him? That's when it becomes to like the nigga who sells dimes. <laughs> the dimes and it's the zip and there's the little this half a pound. <laughs> <laughs> and this thing goes up. So if I get to that person, I sell quarters. That's it. I connect <laughs> for quarters, and that's it. Don't, really don't come to me for hire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we all knew those guys. Shout out to them. They still out there. Yo, if you still, but how you feel about the dudes still out there selling Knicks and dimes? Do they still sell? You gotta start from somewhere, man. Do you still? Do well, people you know, still buy Knicks? Yeah, they still yeah, do. Yeah. You think about it. You think about it. Like we just brought the club earlier. You send the club. You really want to buy a whole half a pound? You just sit there. But I'm saying, I'm like a nigga. So do that. Can you do? All right. So I know they. All right. So mid. Let's talk about mid. Mid's and done. Like, I don't think mid even exists. Okay, but that's what I'm saying. So where did it go? It ain't gonna know. Is, is it? Are we just selling it? Somebody out there. Somebody, somebody is it. Somebody, but but how how do we know what mid actually, is? Actually, actually, I still smoke in mid. I don't smoke. I feel like it's, <laughs> it's, it's I feel so, like I feel I, like people are still smoking mid. They just don't know. It's not that yeah, it's because they don't know. But the fact is, there used to be mid that was pretty strong. That, now we got loud and the loud that's. But is the loud just a strong mid? Yeah, it's weed. It's all weed. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I be scared these days, though, man, because like niggas be doing some crazy shit sometimes. Like I know one dude told me spraying Windex on weed, what? making more pop. Yeah, man, people be doing oh, yeah, crazy shit. Some shit stuff. Right, who wants more? I was I don't know. In New York, you ever had a copy of weed and to make sure your seeds wasn't black? Cause people spraying on road spray on people. Where the fuck was y'all buying weed from? So no, I didn't know. I, See, that's I, I, people had. That's when trust comes. <laughs> people had. No, I met dudes that did find. I've heard of stories of people the doing foul shit, but yeah. I would never. I don't buy weed, but I would never buy weed from a shady person. Like, but if you, if you like, yo, I just I'm met. Tell you about no option. Like, you want I, the weed? You gonna go to the the kid? That, that's in class with you, AP right. class? One time. <laughs> you we was, was at, me. We was at A3C, right? The music festival in Atlanta. We was walking, this dude was just walking around. I got loud. Loud bags. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Oh, you catch some every gas station? Would you copy from him? Like, what'd you, what? He's promoting me. Maybe it's legit, but. I don't know, man. Just, no, you get it from the friend that's already smoking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if he has a blunt and he's yeah. not retarded, Where'd you get it from? But we're seeing people go crazy off of we we know Yeah, I know some people that Yeah, know, yeah, know yeah. The Little pills shit. is the popping thing right now. That's the new crack. I was gonna get to that. That's yeah, the that's, new crack. That's that's the it was gonna be equivalent to what's going on now for like P 
Pills was it that Molly wave and all that other weird I don't, shit. Yo, I don't understand. Yo, like. Some people don't want to smoke them. Like, you don't like smelling like smoke. But I don't like popping pills neither. Like, you don't even know what the fuck you take. Yo, pills, you don't even know what you take. It's everything in there. Man. You don't even know. I can tell you this is Molly and it's a crack. It's a crack. It's honestly just a form of how you want to take your drugs. Some people drink it. Some people smoke it. Some, some people eat it. Okay, so it's a pill. The thing with alcohol, I bought it from a liquor store. That's not they made it okay though, so if they make Molly okay tomorrow. No, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> I say they, if they made Molly okay, if they made it okay, it really they is it, okay, but you're not supposed well not Molly. It's FDM, it's pure FDMA, but the point is if they made it okay to sell in the stores, it would have to be taken in quantities that have warnings on it. You would know. I'll tell you the same thing with liquor. See, the, thing, the thing with liquor is you can get a bad Molly, not Molly. You can take one Molly and die. You ain't gonna take one shot and die. Well that one bad Molly is made from somebody who made it bad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So we don't know where it's coming but from. But if I went and got some moon, uh, moonshine for some nigga who felt like he did it right, it'd be the same thing. But why the fuck are you buying moonshine when you got a liquor store? You in the South, baby. Yeah, yeah with moonshine yeah. everywhere. Who the fuck still drink moonshine like that? I mean, I got to go down to the Mississippi. Ain't nobody going down there to sold slave time. <laughs> <laughs> yo, we looked at, we typed this Shibuta, Mississippi one time. There's nothing but cake, cake, cake. That shit was real. And I was like, yo, yeah. Shibuta. Shibuta, that's I'm, I'm from right. Free State. <laughs> yeah, know. in Mississippi they wouldn't they wouldn't consider free till like two thousand thirteen. Yeah, something like that. They didn't sign. Yeah. They, didn't, they never signed over there. Two thousand thirteen. Yeah, yeah. they wasn't free. What the people that lived there? I mean, so it, they, it was free. It was you know legal, but like it wasn't no paper. Yeah, like they they oh, held state belonged to one person. No. Well, they still had slavery terms for the state in the law. Technically, in the law. Oh, 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 oh. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Some of the, there's a lot of places where I, that's why laws never change. Hanging changed. motherfuckers left and right. They was like, yo, we get away with this if we pull up the right paperwork. Like, right. It was a place that's really called like my cousins could probably tell you way better than me, but it's called the Hanging Bridge. The Hanging Bridge, man. They used to literally just hang people. Hang people. That's fucked up. White people, sorry, white people, but y'all was weird with the hang of the <laughs> I mean, but I'd be wearing better. We just off you with a gunshot, but it's like, dang, I had to sit there and wait. Like, you watch their life slowly go away. Yeah, personally. I, I just like to sit there and watch. Like, kids watching popcorn. Yeah, kids out there, like, hanging parties. and So, like, my question now is how do y'all feel about us knowing about slavery and understanding how it works, not taking every opportunity? To get your life together, I think it's ignorant. It is, it's but we can't help it though. It's hard because we're so privileged and we don't we don't really we're we don't, not privileged. Well, when I say privileged, I mean we have we have a lot compared to what they had back then, and yeah, because we're not we just confident and stuff. Yeah, man. and we're not getting we still we don't have to go to the back of Zaxby's to get a sandwich. We can walk in the front. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so racism can sit anywhere on the bus. Yeah, yeah racism is, is, is hidden now and it's, it's it's different than what it was. And we just I, I we not as we just don't appreciate it. Do you think that we just yo, I watch so I watch what's that? What the hell is the name of that movie? I just watched it today with the with the dude who was talking white. Okay. Mm-hmm. Everybody yeah. act lost everybody act lost. Take a second. It was with the dude who played Snoop Dogg and um Shut Out of Compton. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Get out. The dude from Get Out. Yeah, he was in Get Out. Now he was in that new movie. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What the hell? Clay has been something K. K- no, not that. Oh, that, that movie. phone movie. Yeah. I, I forget the name of it though. I know you're talking about. Though. You know what I'm talking about? I watched it today, man. It was deep, but it got weird at the end. I don't know why I got so weird at the end. <laughs> I don't even want to say it because they got fucking weird. But the story, the moral of the story was just crazy. Like how it made you almost feel like. In order to be successful, you got to sell your own people up. And how we do it is we give each other compliments and we lie to each other and we act cool and act like I'm down with your movement. But as soon as the opportunity comes for me, I'm out. And I, is that is that really what it takes for us to make it out the rat race or can we do it together? We can do it together. We brainwashed them. We created our own culture that's like, I feel like we created our own culture that made us, that made other people look at us crazy. Like we all live in America, but if you look at white people, you look at black people. We go both grew up the same place, just different areas, but we act completely different. Yeah. 
Like, yeah. like you, what you call a, a black person thing, well, we can say it, but if they were to say it, it's like, oh, you racist motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it, it just be true shit, though. Yeah. You don't go to their hood, like where they live at, and you see them come, down, come outside, pants sagging, fighting each other, shooting at each other. Like, trailer park. I don't want to say trailer park, but even trailer park don't be that crazy, because trailer park be like, Spanish people live in trailer parks, too. I mean, you got some black people that live over there, too. True. But if you go to just their neighborhoods, feel me, they're not moving how we move it. Why do you think we can't get, do you do you feel like it's the images we just see all day? Do we need to change what we watch? What we? I mean, a diet is everything. I mean, I watched somebody say it like, it's what we watch, what we eat, what, everything we're consuming is part of our diet. It is. So do you feel like we just need to stop all the nonsense? Out of, can we, how can we change it? I don't know, man. I feel like we can't. Can't? I mean, at this point, it's like me saying it's, I, I stopped listening to rap music. Is, well, you know what, is us watching I, Snowfall a part of what we think? You know what I'm saying? But a lot it's, of us, a lot of us don't know to just watch something and take it for it. Just watch it. All Snowfall mm-hmm. is is telling us sometimes you got to take it. Damn, that's that's what happened. That's just yeah. because you got to look at. That's why I hate when people be like, ah, I'm tired of all these slave movies. I want to see the slave movies. I want to know where our people come from. I, I want to be reminded constantly. So I, so I, so I know not to go back there. Yeah. So I can teach my son, so he can be a little appreciative. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a fact. That's the point of it. True. But a lot of people don't know how to take in what they see and just take in a, and yeah, take it take in and learn from it. Some of them will take it and the education they get from his eyes. So this is how we do with that. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. That's what a yeah. lot of people did in the eighties. Hey, 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 Scarface. Hey, yeah, Scarface. Was old. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Getting stuff like that. Yeah. Get the oh, keys. Uh, N.W.A. <laughs> to sit there and listen to them little rap albums and be like, all right, yeah. I'm going to be the realest nigga out here. Yeah. But, yo, I remember there was a point where everybody wanted to be the realest nigga. Yeah. That's how it was. Is being gangster cool anymore? Nah, I don't Drake, know. Drake, made, Drake changed the whole game. Drake ain't changed the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was niggas who just grew up, to, that just like started Drake having comedy sense. cool to be just a regular guy, okay? Because everybody want to be that person. If you look at it, even girls want you to be that person sometimes. How many girls you see, like, they'd be like, oh, my boyfriend crazy. My baby father, this, that, and the third. Girls do want you to have still that edge. You feel yeah, me? You got to still have that At the same time, they be the first ones when you about to go swing on somebody. Come on! Because, you know, girls just like to tell other people they boyfriend. It's, it's just girls. They want to start it, though. They want to realize it. Yeah. You Girl. telling the next man I'm crazy, so now when I pull up, I have a civilized conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. He ready to swing because he think I'm this nigga about to come in here. Yeah, clap me, I got it. I got it. I got to do what I got to do. So you think? So being gangster, what what is it now? What's the thing to be now? A boss? I think it's a boss. I think the thing to be yeah to be a boss. Mm-hmm. I think the thing to be now is to be honest. Nobody wants to be a foot soldier. Honest with yourself. Honest, I think. What's the honest? I think a lot of people being too honest with themselves. I think you got. I think because everybody's just getting played. I mean, everybody living on Instagram, man. Like if you getting caught out here faking, you look what? And you done so for over. Do we? Do we? So we get, you, you get caught truth. faking, and they can just keep going with it. Yeah, that is true. It's, it's so crazy. Like, fake is so normal that it's okay. Hey, you lie. Up. You lie. Like Kevin Durant. <laughs> That, that that weak shit he did online, like the, making another profile and talking. That oh. shit was weak. That shit was lame as hell to me. But that's what people. But now think. he's cool again. I'm like, that's what it is. But is that sad? sad? So but should, but should but should we like hold you accountable? Hold you forever? Do we ever just forget? I guess it is. A, it's okay to forget. It's kind of like, getting beat up on TV. Do we let that rock? Do we, oh, he's not tough no more. Do we? Like, it depends right. on what you got. Some shows are so fake. So if they did get beat up. It's like they paid you either lose or win. Yeah. I mean, so you don't even know. Yeah. But I just see a post of the same. I don't like, even look at people different if they lose a fight. You hey. You win some, you lose some. That's how you gotta look but at it. But that's not how it was. Everybody don't think about it. Everybody that's didn't want to be the man. It had to be undefeated. But those, those were the times where everybody could fight. I wanted to just fight. So if you yeah. lost the fight, you was that kid on the but block. But there wasn't no cameras neither, man. Now, now you had to be there. Now, yeah. if you fight, you better know. That's when fights took forever because I'm everybody not, had to win. I'm, I'm, not, not, fighting nobody. Fight. I'm not gonna fight nobody who I know I can't win. That's a fact. But see, they. But that mentality, I, I, that, that mentality. I mean, I so will. I, you know, I will. I don't want to because I know it's going. It's going to go viral, probably. That's you know what I'm saying? I ain't going. I'm not going to put no pussy. Like this, like you put your hands. You know what I'm saying? But 
Yeah, nah. Just, just That's why I think selling drugs right now is hard because it's always somebody with a fucking camera. You can't even. Yo, it was good. Somebody out there recording. Yeah, these niggas selling drugs. <laughs> oh, you think you buying from them? I know my button. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly how it is. Do you think like the kids nowadays, like back in the day, the resources weren't there, so I could I could understand that you know why a person would want to sell dope or sell crack or heroin or whatever. But nowadays, resources are there. I don't care where you're from. Everybody got internet. And, you know, they, they may not know how to get to the resource. But you're a lot closer to the resource than what it was in the 80s. I get I, I, Okay. I get what you're saying. There's a lot more things to yeah, do. Yeah, I mean, you... And you know, you... We, the whole point of, like, getting on our, like, becoming... Wealthy or getting something is being next to the information. The reason why black people ain't never really prosper because we was always kept from the information. But now we got it. Now we got the information. So do we think we, we don't do nothing but this? Yo, I've been telling people the phone is your worst enemy. You waste so much. Yo, you could just be. I mean, if you it's actually don't, not, so depending on use it. Yeah. So I, I tell everybody the phone. Your phone has infinite powers. You know what I'm saying? It has. You spoke then? Nah, she keep FaceTiming me. Yeah. Just look, right. Oh, anyway, your phone has infinite powers, right? It um has all the information in the world on it. You could look up anything right now. You could Siri, tell me what happened in 1979 in Mississippi. This is what happened on this date. You know what I'm saying? So that like, you could look up anything, but the point is that we've created social media. So now that we could waste our time looking at the shade room and you know no no this is the shade room i mean it's putting out information but at the same time more people just watching and focused on so many other people but themselves mm -hmm. so we're not we're not building ourselves up we're not investing in ourselves there's not enough gary v's out there there's not enough eric thomas's out there really like look do this do that come on man support you got to go find them you got to go find this big brother mentor and but it's out there it is but we like, ignore it because it's like, not. Why it's sell not drugs cool. and risk getting locked up? Why sell nickel bags and risk getting locked up when you can, when you can sell Snapchat filters? When you can sell Snapchat when you can go just get a car, borrow your mom's car, and drive a Uber. Well, it depends on who that person is. Cause before I got the Snapchat filters, I did drugs too. We <laughs> <laughs> all did. Man. I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't even build, but it's just. Did you have to? Did you have to do drugs? Did I have to do drugs? I mean, no, sell, 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 drugs? Sell, sell. Sorry. Real sorry. drug dealer. Well, you, you said do. He said do. He said I did too. I'm like, I didn't do. You right, you right. But nah, it's not that I had to. It was just like, I right. need bread in your pocket. I need bread in my pocket. I really didn't feel like clocking into somebody's nine to five. I did the work thing, feel me? But I also did the work thing and then like, I right, got my check. I could take this piece of the check, buy this, get that off, double my check. Still go back to work. But you know what we learned that from, right? That's that's all music, man. Yeah, that's all music and what we saw from people who did it in the past, because they didn't know no better. It was just a way to put extra yeah, money in your pocket. Yeah, 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 but we hear the same thing. We hear about each rapper we like all say they sold this this and that amount of drugs, but now they're doing good with it. <laughs> so it's like all right, we can't, we can't skip to the they're doing good with it part because it's like to get there they did all this other bad shit. So we're going to do this bad shit too to get to that point. The, yo, I really came up. In my mind, the best rappers are liars, man. They all man, they go to college. You can't tell me I all sold all these drugs and you only did two months in jail your whole life. Who do you think really sold drugs in the rap game? Jay-Z. Yeah. Sold drugs. You think Jay-Z really had 92 bricks? You think he really lost 92 bricks? I don't think he lost 92 bricks because I think somebody would have killed him. Um, <laughs> Unless he had that much money to say he said, he said made it all back. Or if he made it all back, he, he made it all back. But he was, wild wow, man, I seen he did, he, what, he stabbed one of the he ARs or somebody. He was so. ever tried Jay-Z on some real gangster shit. Or God, he said, Eric God, he was like, yo, this thing was really, he was really, uh, you know. He's like a different hood. I don't see Jay-Z being that nigga, like, running around, punching people with their mouth, but. Jay-Z wasn't a dirty hood nigga. Yeah, he, he was, was like a. He always probably was cool he was like that, that but he was putting in his work that, that needed to be That done. 90s drug dealer, he was that real 90s <laughs> yeah, drug dealer. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? 
like I'd stab you if I had to, or if it wasn't goes, gang related. Or yeah, like, if it goes to guns, you know what to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like he wasn't shooting. It was just he had respect. So when you have respect, everybody moves for you. So probably was out there getting money. But like other rap, all right, Rick Ross, he's lying. I mean, I don't yeah, believe it. I don't. I'm not believing it. I mean, it sound good. No, no, no shade then. It sound good, but like. Come on, man. We seen Soldier Boy in the. <laughs> <laughs> how, how interesting was that? It was like <laughs> that's was entertaining, man. You didn't see the interview. Wait, he was talking about he shot somebody. I fucking came in my house, ran across the room. Ah, ah. Let's see what he said. Man. He yeah. said, "I took off the mask. And I seen who it was." He said, "Fuck." So you told him he had to kill somebody in the interview. <laughs> somebody, somebody, his house. somebody broke into his house. He had, he had a strap on him. He said he started shooting. It was the way. I don't even know if it was true. Man, he never got locked up for this charge. Well, it, they broke in his house. They broke in his I'm house. I'm saying though, but he still had a like, soldier boy shot one man. I, I, I never heard that. That's what I'm saying. Said that, I was like, can't maybe it, it, it would have been somewhere because. Um, Gucci man shit is out there. Yeah. For when he went to the shorty crib and they tried to get him. Yeah. And he had to pop some. Do you money. think Gucci really about that? Like? Hey, Gucci is about that. Life. <laughs> I, I, I would have tried. I about. believe it. I've heard Gucci's about that life, and the other one that they always try to call him gay and all type of shit. Young Thug is definitely also about that life. For wow. real? Yeah. I mean, what's in that band though? Yeah. Really? That's saying yeah. He's not. He does. He's not scary, bro. He doesn't scare me. He doesn't scare. What about Trump? Have to. It's a trouble. Trouble's a wild man like too, but now that's crazy. Ah, with well, the way he well, talked, well, I just know. He said Walker was one of the shooters for Gucci, so he's definitely. He was I believe. I ones. believe a lot, but you know, when you young, you do a lot. Yeah, he Yo, was young when you young and you do shit, it's like you with whatever. I remember really being with the shits when I was younger. Like what? Do what? All right, cool. Not it. Yeah, not that one throw head that you just ride for for no reason. Yeah, the stupid. You be just dumb. It sound cool. He said, "What to you?" <laughs> <laughs> But I was saying, when you was young, being gangster was cool. I feel like it's not. You know, if you told me you got punched in the face, I was gonna say, so what? What did you do? I'm not gonna tell you. Let's go jump him. I'm gonna say, right, right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. This time, like, nah. But like, I don't even. I don't even realize how people have beef anymore. We don't even talk in real life as much. Internet. It's, it's, it, I realize beef be with two people that just didn't get to communicate. But so like. Me beefing with you on the internet, do I really take it to the next level in person? Yeah, because now it got to the point where that's what everybody's waiting on. And you know that's what everybody's waiting on. So I, I'm, I'm doing what I got to do to impress the people still. Pretty much. That's what life is. Because if you know we got beef and it's on some shit where you said it and I said when I see you and you say when you see me. So now when we see each other, it's people that sat there and watched us write this shit. To, oh, that nigga go right there. Then you're going to have to do what you got to do. He's forced now. Are you forced just because you don't want people to look at you different. Damn. Some niggas fold and they just get a little different after that. Like, fuck it. I, I, Other niggas just get gangster with it. Being gangster is ain't cool. See, we, got, we got to a point of where gangster don't pay the bills. I can imagine being mad at you. Yo, but that, so, 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 I, I, so is 50 lame? Is he lame? To me, yeah. No, but 50's just being 50. That we yeah. always knew 50 guys. If, if you look at it in real, in real life, it's lame like shit. I told you. If you, in real life, if that played out in real life, he's he's lame. Like, what? but they even created a whole new word for that shit that he does. That whole trolling thing. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, that's that's. But Fifty is like the you know? godfather of it because when he did this shit to John, how do you how do you get how do you how do you kill Fifty? <laughs> you gotta you really shoot him. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> surpass him on the shit that he does. But you can't. You can't you be somebody you can't have. You but can't. the problem, I think, if Drake would have. Like, 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 if Drake would have had beef with 50, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, Push a T was nothing. 50 would have paid everybody to figure out what Drake really had going on. I had video. 50 would have been made some stuff too, though. You think so? Yeah, he did. Like, like, what? Shit. Some stuff he'd be making. Like, what, though? We yeah, I mean, so funny. funny. I think about the Ja Rule thing. 50 and the Ja Rule thing. Like, what did he make up? Ja Rule, them niggas really ran up on them, right? 50 Cent really had a restraining order out on them, right? Yeah, yeah 50, 50 Cent got stabbed by my child. 50 really, but 50 had the way, 50 had the, the momentum. But really, yo, this nigga, you put a restraining order out on us and you don't, 
talking about? That's a pussy move. That ain't street nigga yeah, move. That shit, that shit so nasty. When 50 shut down your whole record label. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, your whole record label. Yeah. Every artist on this shit. Yeah, it's more, it's more. There was it's no more murder. He did it with this, but like. He did it with promo. But think about it. Yeah. All right, so, all right, Carter. I shut down the way you eat. You broke now. Yeah. The time's different. And I'm still walking around like it's so good. So how gangster was you? That says a lot about everybody. See how you agree? Because I'm not. But I'm gangster. I'm big bad gangster. I'm rapping about it. Yo, you know what it is. I, I got it. shot nine you times. Mean, you mean. What you gonna do? I shut what you down. You? I took everything. I destroyed yeah, everything. Yeah, everybody trying to come back. What I'm saying is like, like show him work. Up, his strategy is what made it. And, and, and nobody said. killed him yet. Nobody. So nobody what's beef? What's beef now? But like, what's the truth? Because we all, all fifty done is said a bunch of words. But is he? Is he? Is is he? Now, but that like, shit was true shit. You think it was all from the same area of New York? Yeah. I don't know. A lot of people I, said I like that. 50. I, I don't want no problems. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he come, 50 walk to the door yeah. right now. Hey, get strapped. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no I'm just saying, so like being, it's like, right, it, what, what's real? You know, the fake ass world. What's real is what's fake. It's the shit that we like. We like the fake shit. We know what's real now. We all get to an age of what we know what bills are. We know we gotta pay the rent. We know we gotta pay the car. Some of us got kids. We gotta pay for them. We yeah. know that's the real, but we yeah. want to hear the other bullshit. I know I like to hear the shit. I'm in my car, I'm listening, tapping out the bando. I like to the bando. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it just gets my brain away from everything else. Sounds good. You're right. But do we? When rap first came out. I feel like they had more truth to the I feel like it still did. Now, I always argue that fact with old heads because mm-hmm. I listen to like Biggie and Tupac and all that and they be like, oh, Tupac said some real shit. If you listen to some of them little Zanny um, artists, R.I.P. the nigga that died, XXX, he said some shit that sounds just as real as Tupac said. But when mm-hmm. I say, when I say you had to prove yourself though, like, I mean like, okay, so let's think about the old rap, like, was that the spit? You wasn't beat. No, I'm talking about just just the just being a man. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have fought the Wu Tang Clan. I just wouldn't have. Like, I feel like they was a bunch of weed smoking niggas who really would have jumped your ass and just smoked the blunt after. Well, that's what now, that's, but who? Ones. But who? Who? Who puts me in y'all? What rapper right now? You like? Nah, son. I don't really want no beef with him. Who? The new ones. Yeah. No, none of these new ones. So the only one I feel like is probably gonna be a fight. And why do you think Young Thug is? Why you think young Those are all shooters. That's yeah. the only reason why they get any type of respect. Them all shooters. Nobody fights. They all shooters. Oh, well then, yeah, that's... that's I don't say it's a little... Fendi said... You know they Fendi said scared me a little bit. Fendi <laughs> said scared me a little bit. Casanova. Casanova. He said Fact. that. Fact. Casanova. That but he that. lived his truth and he really did the time he talking about. He Fact. not. But when you say rappers now, that's only yeah, that thing about it. Casanova's only about hands with him. It's yeah. Yeah. I think... Yeah, but Casanova is such like a... He, he just... He, he he <laughs> really he, really. That's what he came in the game trying to do. But niggas, niggas don't want no smoke with Cash. Nah, I feel he not really, for real. Not nah. for real. Not fighting. Well, even when he said this shit, like you gotta watch out, and people really think like, who? I don't see. I don't. All these new rappers is no fear. Like he on Savage looks like yo. I can just slap this. Shit out of twenty. You can't seven. slap the shit out of the same that like, yo, these dudes do not. But some of those niggas is now to a sense of they don't fight. But do these young kids are they scared of them? The tattoo on the, tattoos on the face used to scare me when I was younger, man. Now it was now it was like I always don't know if you feel the that. exact same if you hopped out your car to walk into your apartment complex with sixteen of them outside. All with the biggest gun on the All side the, of their head. Yeah, you got so a tattoo yeah. on the side of their face. But cool, like cool. So let's, let's think about this. You know how much beef we was in when we was younger. We had no fear. And them niggas. That's a fact. They was really, they was really fighting and shooting. It was a myth. But now, if you take away, see, we, we was fighting people who would fight back. You take away these guns, are they gonna fight back? <laughs> Shut up. That's the whole point. They fight back. Oh. That's the, whole point. I mean, that's the whole point. If they didn't have the gun, yeah, it'd be different. But at this point, that gun shit is going to be there. Yeah, I feel like it's calling. It I feel like.